Hey y'all, I'm back again with this Green Witch Journal that I just finished. I had spoke about it in my last video. Um, this journal has five signatures in it. And I didn't put a closure on this one just because I thought that the cover was so neat. It has a bit of a texture to it, kind of like a basketball. Um, but it, I like the way that that looks. So I didn't want to put a cover, uh, closure on there. Each of the signatures is uh, got a cover sheet on it that is uh, eco dyed paper. I had never done that before and uh, saw it on YouTube. So I gathered some plants from around the neighborhood and tried it out. So this is my first try at that and I really like it. I'm going to try to find more rusty things next time to make the colors more vibrant. This is a specimen paper clip I guess you would call it um, you can put like flowers and like butterfly wings that you find in there like that and then the little stones on the side of this paper clip are garnets and this paper is made from uh, it's homemade paper handmade paper and I got it from Austin creative reuse I used some stickers out of this uh, antiquarian sticker book that I just got. Well, I got it a while back, but I haven't really been able to use it until now. It's all stickers. The whole book is nothing but stickers. And then on the back of each page, it's this really pretty design. So once you're done using all the stickers, you can use the pages in your book as well. I got mine at Target, but I know you can find them online as well. Uh, I saw the advertisement on Instagram. So I put some little sunbursts in gold there on the sides and did some rub on transfers and washi stickers. I didn't put any charms on the center pieces um, just so that Whoever purchases the book, they can put them on there themselves. Stuff that's sentimental to them. I really like this dragon um, garden kind of viney stamp and I don't get to use it very often so I was glad to use it in this book. And I colored all of the papers in here using raspberry hibiscus tea and uh, cabbage. And Chantal LePage actually helps me with the cabbage. Uh, if you haven't already looked at her Instagram channel, it's called Red Page Cafe. She makes journals as well, so go check those out. Here's another one of those specimen envelopes. And this one actually is also handmade paper, but it has bits of money. Um, in it. So that's pretty neat. And there's some jade beads on the side of this paper clip. Some more rub on transfer. I got these st um, stamps off of Wawa Stationery on Etsy. They are the clear stamp, the clear like jelly kind of stamps. Um, they were really affordable as well. So I recommend going there, Wawa Stationery, to get your journal supplies. I don't, I didn't glue down any of the pages like that fold out in case they wanted to glue them down themselves to make a pocket or just have to write on each side. It's up to the the owner. Another specimen envelope. And this one has amethyst on the paper clip. This really pretty sticker. I believe I got those off of Wish. And did some stamp collage. Well, it's not collage, but like an ombre stamp pattern down the side of that paper. Some collage work. 
I like how all of the cabbage paper turned out. Uh, some of it's purple, some of it's blue, some's yellow. So that was really fun. I, I have some cabbage in the freezer that I want to use to make some more of that. I really like how this turned out. I just pulled, folded these two pieces of paper in half and put them basically how they are now uh, so that the uh, rub on transfer would go on there perfectly and it worked out. I love when things work out. Another one of those handmade paper envelopes. This one has malachite beads on the side. I like that antiquarian sticker book so much that I, I bought two of them. I knew I was going to hoard it away if I, if I just had one copy because I wouldn't want to use the stickers in it. So I got another one a little later after I purchased the first one. I really like that there. So this journal is just for, like I said, the green witch who maybe you want to write down spells in here or um, your goals or things that you've learned. I thought this was a cute Yule um, envelope. I'm pretty sure that the stuff in here is potpourri, but I just thought that one was very unique. And then there's pearls on the side of this one. And this is the last signature. So as I was saying, maybe you want to write about your thoughts on your walks or ways to improve self-help and self-care. Maybe you just want to write about how your garden is growing. And that's the end. Oh, I love this personal diary sticker. All right. Like I said before, if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see, or if you see something that I've done and you want to see it done in another way, I can do that too because no two books are alike. Um, just shoot me some suggestions. Thanks for watching. Bye.